What's up everybody, welcome back. Ringo Q becomes a donut, thanks to Chef Akaza. So, pencils and erasers are very important for this kind of stuff. And hitting pause, use your pause button if I go too fast. So let's just go for it. We start with Akaza and we're gonna start with his nose. Characters in profile, so he's looking this way, right? So I like to start with the nose. So we're gonna go out. And around and down. Next, so we got this sort of, it's kind of like a seven or an L just going that way. And his nostril is just beside that, so it's like just there. So then his face kind of goes up this way a little bit and curves pretty long. It goes right nearly up to the top of his hairline. here somewhere I'll stop it there but that's real long now so then his eye right so we know his eye is around here across from the brow sort of area his eyebrow is quite high up but we'll, do, we'll start with the eye so it was diagonal down like that first and then this kind of goes back in and it's pink eyelashes, right? And the eyelashes are kind of drawn in. So I'm going to do that kinda like that. Okay. And then the bottom eyelashes are drawn in as well. So it curves around and then we got spiky eyelash back up to there. And then his eyeball there. And then that big sort of yellow kind of eye, iris just there. And I might have like, you know, you might see some of the calligraphy sort of writing just there. And then he's got all these cracks in his eye. Like so. Top eyelid line just comes up from the eye, down that way. And then his eyebrow goes up, down this way. And then it kind of spikes out that way. And then we just add a section that we can color in. And it gets skinnier as we go down to there. So, mouth. So his mouth sticks out here, top lip. Goes sort of in that way. And then bottom lip comes out, goes in. And then his chin curves out and around and goes around for his jaw. And it's his cur it's a curvy jaw, so it just gradually sort of curves around like that. And then his mouth, the line for his mouth just goes down that way. So he looks really unimpressed. He's probably nearly sad that he has beaten Rengoku. Nearly, well, nearly beaten. No spoilers, sorry. You should have seen it by now though. Right, so he's kind of like got this lava-like hole in his head, right? So. It's like the side of his head is like sliced off or something and you can just see this energy on the inside. Does that mean demons have no muscles? They're just like red energy. So um, it's kind of this big cloud, right? Let's just go. So it's just this bumpy kind of thing. And all in there is just colored. It's like done with, you know, kind of an effect. So if you were coloring it, you know, you do it like different shades of red and all that kind of stuff just in there. So there's not much you can do sort of with your lines apart from like just texture sort of like that, but nothing much. So then I guess the rest of his hair. So, we kind of 
kind of go like up here, like his hairline. Just going up and around. Like that. It looks like he's got like winter earmuffs on. He's cold, but Kaz is cold. Okay, now his hair. So, spiking out this way, lots of short spikes, right? Kind of going in different directions. Remember, hair moves, you don't have to get it like exactly like mine. You're just going for the general sort of style of his hair. Goes all the way around his head and down to the back of his neck. Like that, and then we have like some fringe sort of lines. some spikes on his head just going back that way he does have those blue tattoos but I'll, I'll draw all those at the same time we'll just get all his anatomy in first so what we can see of it anyway so we can just see a little bit of his neck um, we can see the front of his neck anyway so it comes down from his jaw down this way and kind of like it's bumpy like that. He's got a bit of a shadow underneath his chin. There, and then the back of his neck somewhere. I'm going to put it here. It's hard to see. And then this bumps out for his trapezius goes down to there and he's another slice taken out of him here somewhere but we'll just get sort of the shoulder going off my page that way so that slice this bumpy thing coming down here another sort of black hole inside colored red And then like neck muscle, just here. And then his collarbone will go towards his shoulder from the center of his neck. So it goes that way. And then like another sort of neck muscle there, I think. Some more anatomy here. And then the center of his chest is like here somewhere. And his waistcoat comes out from behind his neck, kind of flowing down this way. And the other side of it here, this chin. And then his arm comes out from the waistcoat. His arm goes that way, down to his chest there. And then we have another collarbone line here. And the kind of underneath of that there. Chest muscle line there. Maybe like shoulder starting here and he's got like some veins just on his arm there like so do 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 right so i think that's all for his chest here so then it's all i can fit in anyway his shoulder on this side comes out from his mouth that's right his shoulder comes out from his mouth and then bumps that way and he's got like a vein on it here and this tricep is quite big comes out here down and this goes into Rengoku's stomach like here and then it kind of bumps around 
that. It's going to come out the other side. Hence why they call this making a donut. Face that way, which is pretty funny. I know it's a very sad moment in the anime, but. <laughs> Dark humor. Bicep muscle there. Shoulder, that forearm there, and some veins. Another vein here. Like that, right? So we will draw in those blue tattoos because you, you kind of have to have them, right? So there's two that goes around. I'll draw them in lightly. They're, they're not drawn in with black line in the anime. They're just done with blue. But I'm just going to draw them in so we can see where they are, right? So two sort of rings here and one that goes down his arm sort of this way. And then the other side of it comes back there and then down this way. Right, so that's blue, blue, white, blue. And then this goes up his shoulder as well, back this way somewhere. And eventually down his chest. Around here. And then around his collarbone, bumping. Around here. And two more on his neck wrap around his neck here and this one goes down his chest somewhere here down the middle of his chest down that way goes back up across and then down his collarbone here Then around the neck again. Like that. And up. Let's see your do 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 there. And then this goes down. There. So, right, I think that's all of them apart from what's on his hand. So, now we're going into Rengoku's stomach. So, to get everything sort of in the right place, I'm going to draw his body first because I don't want to draw his head and it's like too far out and stuff like that. So, we'll draw his body first. So, yeah, so like the center, so the center line is like right here for his jacket, right? So it kind of curves up this way, right? And there's two buttons with some like texture on them and things, right? So that's like the center line down. And then you'll, you'll have like fold lines, things here. His head is roughly here, like you could you could sketch a circle up here if you wanted, just but we'll just go for it. Okay, so collar comes underneath where his chin would be. Like here and his hair, right? So this comes down that and then we have a sort of a center line that way somewhere there right and then his cape so that's his hair and his so where does his cape come from here so the cape goes down that way and then you should be able to see the inside of his body 
can't, but I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in here. So it's this chest maybe. There, it's all black inside here. You can't really see it, but I, I'll just draw that line in anyway. Just cause it would make more sense, I think. So that's his pocket. There's like four lines and things there. Right, and then waist, there's another button here. Texture on that button. Okay, so then his back is like here. So this is like the whole width of his body. This is like his arm. His arm will go this way. So this is his back. And Rengoku, Akaza's fist comes out here. And we can see a little bit more of his cape. Coming around his arm. So if this is his arm, armpit. Right, so this is his armpit there. And then that means his shoulder has to be up here. So it goes that way and then say like a full line or something here and his cape comes over his shoulder goes up to like there full line on it and his arm is holding a blade up here but I'll try to get his head in all right so his nose, right? So this is his color. So his jaw is like here. So we'll go from the jaw. We'll just get the jaw in. Like that. And then his chin. Comes around. Out. In. Up. And you can see some teeth in here. So this comes around. Down and then add some like teeth lines there. And then his top lip, oh, and his nose just here. So again, it's like that seven sort of shape. Okay. So then his brow goes up this way around carving around like so and eventually his hairline here right so that's a bit tricky now to get that so pause there if you can lots of different shapes and things there you know arm going that way with full lines and things body You know, all these fabric lines kind of being pulled towards this hole. In his stomach. Forgot the tattoos on Akaz's face. I'll come back to them. We'll just finish Rengoku first. So, his eye, right? Just here. So we'll go... Top eyelid kind of curving twice, right? And it's real spiky on the end. Like that bottom eyelid down to there. And we'll just thicken this up a little bit in the corner and add. A little spike coming off the front of his eye here. And then the eyeball is just like drawn in. Curve around there. And then his iris. Curve around like so. He had, so it's yellow and red inside there. So you can't really see a pupil. There's like a white dot in the center. So it's done with color really. 
So I won't draw it in because it'll just all go black. And that's not what his eyes look like. So, like some stress lines maybe around his eye. And then his big black spiking eyebrow. There. Well, like you can do it black or sort of dark brown, really dark brown. Sometimes I've seen this. And then there's an eyelid line just coming down here. <clears throat> and his hairline then goes the whole way around the back like so. And then we have these dangling down fire like hair spikes, right? <clears throat> Just here on the side of his head. So these are the sides, the hair on the side of his head now. And this goes all the way around his fringe, so we keep going, adding spikes. He's got a couple of layers to his hair. So we kind of have to... Kind of got to take our time. Right. There. <laughs> you could have like some textures going back this way. And this is longer as well, so it comes, it like hangs down, goes across his jaw, across his collar and everything. There. his cape and if you go over any lines you can just erase them back in like there All right, like that and then we can see like his neckline just there and then there's like a big blob of blood on his face here like that okay so he's got he, he's holding his sword right so his, his sword is like here so it goes it's coming across like his hair and his head and stuff like that so we do that first we'll do this arm because that's holding the sword okay so his arm just goes off my page just back there his elbow and then it kind of bumps up Going this way, right? And then the underside of it comes cuts across here. And go like so. I don't think that line makes much sense. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Right, and then this sort of white sleeve, shirt sleeve there, shoulder, and then cape. Cape kind of flows this way. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so his hand is holding the handle of his sword somewhere here, so this just curves around. This little finger kind of sticks out here, and the handle will go down this way. Curve 
around the bottom go gold end and all these curved lines just coming up like so and then his finger goes back and then there's another finger just there the back of his hand so i can't fit in all the hand a few more room feel free to fit that hand in um, and he's got a shadow underneath his chin just there all right so now we'll do the rest of the hair that's just all in behind all that stuff so all these spikes goes all around this way and then comes out and goes around the back of his head so like the fringe and then there's another yeah there's another layer that goes behind the sword so you go around like this Right, like that, and you can, you know, you could have. Oh, his ear, his ear is in here as well. Forgot that. The ear lines and stuff inside, and maybe like some more sort of. Texture lines there. So that's hair, hair, and then his ponytail. Somewhere here. It's in behind his hand and the sword. There. And of course, that's all colored red and yellow and orange and stuff. And we can just see like his other long piece of hair sticking down this way. Uh, oh yeah, and there's a shadow on his lip there. Same in the casa. And some more of his shoulder, just here. Like so. And, right, I'll do I think that's all a Rengoku. I'll do the tattoos on Akaz's face, those sort of lines, right? So those curved lines. The one here. Like that, and then we go underneath his eyebrow. So one, two, and then a third. That's sort of on the front of his face there, I think. Right, so his fist just comes out the back here. So kind of go out this way like that and then this goes up around to his thumb knuckle right goes down around so there and you could have a fingernail it's hard to see it's real dark oh, i think there's a fingernail in there let's 
let's go this way. Yeah, that looks okay. And then fist coming right through. So four knuckles. One, two, three. And a fourth out like that. And then this comes down for his hand this way, which goes in and then around that way sort of thing. Like maybe wrist bones or something there. And then those fingers. So one finger here. Like that. And then his little finger somewhere here. So these are all sort of bent over, fingers curved over. You know, like a palm of the hand line. Like that. There's a blue tattoo on his thumb. Do like so okay so then like this is cape I think here white cape just coming out from behind Rengoku like that and that's it I think I think I got everything <laughs> probably a long video hope it was helpful Rengoku becomes a donut, a casa, the chef. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.